right, here we go. I'm gonna eat one of these skull crushers now. And try and hold them off in the hallway with the sledgehammer for as long as I can. Probably should pop up another hatch, but I think the vault hatch is good enough for now. We got a radiated cop right off the bat here. Oh, shit. <laughs> they pushed him through. Let's use the shotgun. Come on, you fuck. There we go. Let's send a rocket down the hallway. Beautiful. Now let's get some pipe bombs working. I brought 20 of these. And I'm just gonna use them all now. Fuck it. I think they're the most effective in the hallway. Oh, there's a demolisher. I don't know if a pipe bomb will trigger their button or not, but we're gonna find out. Hasn't yet. I know uh, the rocket launcher will trigger their button. I did that in Cabin in the Woods. Found out the hard way. So far, the pipe bombs are, are not doing it. So that's a good thing. Here, dogs growling. They're just sending the whole army at us. Right off the bat, we better pop up another hatch here. Oh, I missed one. I missed the hatch in line there, so I'll have to fix that. Let's drop this one. Pop that one up, and that one. Okay. Now we're good. Oh, that cop just blew up and fucked a lot of zombies up, which is good. Fucked our hatch up too, though. Oh, shit. God damn it. They are going to be through this hallway pretty soon. Oh, yeah. That's effective, but... Definitely want to save some rockets for later. Let's go ahead and run through the rest of these pipe bombs, though. There we go. Last one. Let's bring the Molotovs down. Get some fire working. And we'll send a couple more rockets down the hallway as well. Trying to kill as many as I can right in the beginning, but it's kind of a double edged sword because the more I kill, the more that spawn in. Alright, let's throw one more Molotov. And let's get up here. Pop open the steel hatch up here. And hope uh, we can hold down the catwalk for the rest of the night. Here we go. This is going to be interesting. Oh, shit. That's not good. But you know what? I put in a ladder right here. Just in case something like that happened. Oh, thank God I did. Oh, God. Come on. Get back up there. We got to craft a uh, frame. Uh, here we go. Uh, bam. All right. What a mess. Let's get back to work here. You can see I brought the SMG, the auto shoddy, the AK, rocket launcher. We already ran through all of our pipe bombs. We got 12 Molotovs left. There's a dog hanging from the bars. Oh my god, cops are blowing up on the stairs. It's a fucking madhouse already. Holy shit, there goes another one. That's gotta be junkies doing. That's not good. Oh, he's gonna blow. Son of a bitch. There are so many cops, dude. It's crazy. There goes another one. Oh, the steps are going to be gone soon. I hear a demolisher down there. Oh, my God. I wonder if an exploding cop can set off a demolisher. I mean, my guess would be no, just because it hasn't happened yet. Let's get some fire down there. Junkie could be reloaded, but I'm not going to do that. Because it was Junkie that was making all those cops explode. Oh, Junkie just fell anyway, so... It's out of the question. Uh, out of stamina. Let me check the health on this door here. That's not bad. Over 5,000 hit points still. You can see this cop jumping in place. It's still working out beautifully, man. You know, probably a better way to do this base setup would be to seal off this catwalk completely. There's no reason to make the zombies have to fall down. Because the way it's set up, they're not even attacking the hatch. They just jump in place, you know? Having this catwalk all open is really just risking me. Uh, oh, set up a demolisher. There we go. <laughs> I think the steps are uh, gone. Or one of them is. Hey, buddy. Fuck you. That worked. Pretty quiet here, for a second anyway. 
Are they going to get up these steps? Oh, they are. They're, they're running up that piece of rubble. So the steps are still in play right now. Not for long, though. One more explosion on them, and that's going to be it. Oh, that was another thing I was going to say. Is having these uh, this catwalk all open like this uh, allows these damn monkeys to jump up here. So I think if this was all sealed off, we would be protected from cop puke like that. We would be protected from monkeys, and we would be protected from falling off. And we would be just fine, really. Because, like I said, look at them. Just jumping in place right there at the hatch. Not even attacking it. Oh, you fucking monkey. Holy shit. So much puke. I don't think the steps are in play anymore. There we go. There's bodies flying everywhere. Man. Maxed out hordes are the best hordes, aren't they? Yeah, the steps are definitely not in play anymore. This has become a watchtower base now. So we're basically just going to be up here shooting down on them, which is fine. And then if the uh, catwalk fails, hopefully we'll be able to get out of here. And we can run around on foot for a little bit. There goes that demolisher. Bam, along with a whole bunch of zombies. And I think we'll be fine running around on foot, or we can head over to the stairwell base. There is a hatch in place over there, so we could use that for a bit. Bam! Yeah, fuck you, demolishers. I'm aiming for the button now. Just use them against other zombies. Come here, give me that button. Come on. Oh, shit. I almost had it. Come on. Oh, the cop blew up. What are you doing up here, cowboy? How'd he get up here? Oh, like that, I guess. Oh, you all right, lady? Just hanging out. We got one more rocket left. Here comes a cop. Bam. All right. I have more rockets at home. I'd have to go back there and get some. Oh, damn it. Fucking cop puke has just been terrible tonight. I tell you, though, you don't really see the flaws of your base until you fight a maxed out horde there. So that's always a good idea. If you're working on a base design, fight a maxed out horde. And uh, that will definitely show you where your weaknesses are, you know, what needs to be changed and what needs to be fixed. There we go. Got his button. Beautiful. Burn, you fuckers. Oh, my God. I imagine this is what hell looks like. I can get used to it. Is he dead? Nope, he's not. Oh, shit. <laughs> not good. This is not... A good place to be. All right, uh, down the hatch. We gotta go. Holy shit. Are they coming? Are they coming down? No, they're not. All right. Take a breather for a second. Here's another bandage. I do have a first aid kit on me, but I'm holding off on that. They're probably all gonna be piled up right here. Oh, shit. Get up. All right. We're okay. We're okay. We can make it on foot for a little bit. It's not too bad. Oh, actually, yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, my God. They're just piling out of the base now. I thought a lot of them would be stuck down there. I guess not. Because we did create a bit of a pit down in the base from all those explosions. There's some birds flying around. That's okay. Listen, I'm comfortable on foot. Oops. Got to be careful when uh, walking backwards. All right, what we need is explosions. Oh, my God, what we need right now is a Mega Crush because my stamina is gone. Let's uh, make our way back home. Like I said earlier, I have more rocket frags at home, and we can certainly use them right now. 
It doesn't look so bad from here, right? But it's bad. There's definitely a lot more left. And now we're bringing them to our home. Which uh, is not the best idea. But it's an idea. You know? Now, let's just leave it like that for now. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got? We got landmines. We could make use of those. Let's put them by the door. Oh my god, they're gonna break right in. Let's uh, open that door without stepping on the landmine. Here we go. Oh, this is not gonna end well. Holy shit. Put more down. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, let's get those frags. Uh, no, ammo. Here we go. 14 of them. That's not bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't advise firing rocket launchers in your house, but, you know, if you gotta, you gotta. Holy shit, we're gonna die. Well, if you're gonna die, dying at home isn't the worst way to go. It's kind of comfortable, you know? Oh, my God, is that a sleeper? Yeah, they're respawning. Zombie respawns in the house. That's good. Now they're coming from this way. <laughs> Holy shit. This is mayhem. Let's get upstairs. Come on, you fucks. Bam! Bitches! Came in the wrong fucking house. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. With this rocket launcher. Okay, up the steps. Back up, you bitches. Come on. Let's go, then. Oh, shit. All right. Nowhere to go. Oh, my God. Here it goes. Fine, then. Let's go out with a blast. Holy shit, we survived that. Jump down. Wow. Thank God for heavy armor. Uh, out this door. Close that door. Holy shit, you guys can keep the fucking house. I'm out of here. <laughs> How did we survive that? There goes our last bandage. Alright, let's get over to the staircase base. There is a hatch in place, and it's a vault hatch, so that's good. I did not, however, put a sledgehammer turret down, so uh, we're gonna have to deal without that. But that's okay, I think we'll be fine. It's, it's, uh, it's almost morning. It, there is a decent amount of zombies left. But look at this. We can just blast the shit out of them right here. We should be good. Holy shit, they broke through that thing. I thought it had more hit points than that. Pop that up. Okay, he made it through. Oh my god. He's still alive? Shit. Die, you fuck. I don't know how much longer I can hold him off here. I don't even know how many zombies are left. Sure looks like a lot of them, though. Oh my god. Reload. Oh, there's not much left of that hatch. Here we go. Okay, see you later. Damn. Are they following me? Oh, yes, they are. Oh my god. Die, lady. This guy's still alive. Get the fuck out of my way. Oh my god. Oh shit. Come on. This is not good. Let's get out of here. No, oh, fuck this. We got rockets left. Three of them. One. Two. Oh my god. Three. Is this it? There's a landmine for you. Come on, you bitch. Step on that. That's for you, Mo. <laughs> oh my god. Dead. 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 Oh, not dead. Now dead. Oh my god. Do not kill me, big mama. Alright. <laughs> that would have been the worst. Here we go. Fucking screamers. Is that it? 
Is that all you got? Oh, that was easy. Oh, there was no way for the catwalk to survive when the whole floor is gone. I should have put in more support, maybe against the walls. I really wanted the zombies to be able to fall off the catwalk. That was my plan. That's kind of how I've used catwalks in the past. I didn't anticipate how good the half uh, or the centered bars were going to work as a ceiling. Because the centered bars were making the zombies try to jump over the hatch when they couldn't. You know, and just keeping them jumping in place. I didn't realize how good that was going to work. If I knew, I would have designed the base completely different. But that's neither here nor there. Base is gone. Uh, well, the floor of the base is gone anyway. And the entire catwalk is gone. The house didn't take too much damage. And the staircase base didn't take too much damage either. But listen, guys. I know I said if I survive, I was going to do this and that. But honestly, how much further can I take it? There's no way we can have a Horde night more epic than the one we just had. So sometimes you got to quit when you're ahead. You know what I mean? And uh, a lot of you guys aren't going to like this, but this is going to be it for Nightmare. At least this season of Nightmare. I'm cutting it off. You got you to gotta end when you're on top, you know what I mean? But this isn't even really the end. Let's just say to be continued. All right, let's get the hell out of here. We can fly off into the sunset or the sunrise, whatever. Who gives a shit? But before we do, let's take a look at these stats real quick. Level 300, of course, because we maxed it out. Uh, game stage 408, of course, because we maxed out our level. Enemy kills 4,333 and zero deaths. So to all of you that said I was going to get destroyed playing this Nightmare series, I guess you were fucking wrong, weren't you? All right, here we go. Flying off into the sunrise. Where's the next stop for us? I don't know. But what I do know is, no matter where we end up, the fight's not going to be over. It's never over for us. Not until the lights go out. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this series. And I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. I know I say the same shit at the end of every video, but it's true. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for whatever is up next. And I'll catch you guys there.